What's up guys and gals, I'm your host Mike Pugh of the FPC Virtual Channel and you're tuning in to Paint 3D. Paint 3D is actually something unique. Check this out. We're gonna go into it. Oh my, this is really crazy, right? Look at this character. Now I put some paint on the face. This is pretty much what you're gonna see, how to get this done. And if you wanna tune in for more, check it out. All right, so I'm gonna bring y'all folks over to the newest thing that actually happened to my computer. And it should be happening to your computer as well. It's the Windows 10 Creator Upgrade. And it recently went through, actually I did this on this computer. My other one, my laptop, it's actually upgraded. Last night, I believe it upgraded on its own because I set it at a certain time. You can set it at a certain time or you can choose to opt in and upgrade right away. You should have got a prompt maybe like last week sometime to get the upgrade. And it was like a little warning to let you know that your computer is gonna be upgrading to the new Windows 10 Creators Update. Basically, what is it? What is the Creators up Update or Upgrade? What it is, basically, you get this functionality, this really cool functionality that I, I showed in the beginning, which is the Paint 3D, you get that. You get many other things, but that's like one of the latest features of a Windows Creators Update. So it's pretty, pretty cool and awesome to utilize and play with. What I really wanna do is learn how to create the 3D animated characters on my own from scratch, but they have these really cool uh, characters that you'll get from Remix 3D. This is the page on a Microsoft related website. I don't know if this is owned by Microsoft, but I believe the 3D animated items are definitely tied in. This ties into your Xbox account. When you try to sign into this thing, it, it goes into your Xbox account. So just wanted to keep y'all informed of that. And look at this, you can go in top to bottom 3d i'm using my mouse right now and you can rotate from left to right which is pretty cool now let's go to the actual site itself through the main page this is the main page and this is the fish guy character that they had displayed over here see so how do you do all that stuff that's what I, i'm going to do with this actual tutorial not really a tutorial but it's something along the lines of starting out for those who just got the update because it's a little tricky just to get it to merge onto this uh, part here which is the paint 3d tool this is the tool and i painted some stuff over here but um let me back that out so y'all folks can see what it originally looked like you can scroll in you can scroll out and you can paint in the background which is pretty cool look at that I'm painting right now in the background behind it using some sort of a paintbrush. And let me just finish painting the background just to give y'all folks a different perspective of what you can come up with. I mean, you can get very creative with this. And let me get out of the paint and select the navigation tool. Look at that, you can navigate different parts of the screen now I'm gonna navigate this character and the way you use it you have to use these swivels I don't know if they call them swivels but you can rotate and stuff like that and you see behind the character I didn't paint it so if I wanted to move the character and finish painting it look I can move it over here and then where is the paint option let's see click here well, you got to click off of the object that you chose and then go back into paint. So let me get a brush and let me finish painting over that. There we go. Finish that up there. And then click select here and bring, oops, sorry. I did, you have to, you have to click the actual object then you can bring it back in. So that, I don't know what that does. That drops it out of the screen somehow and puts it in a different view. I don't know what kind of view that is, but I'm gonna learn all these different tools. Then you have uh, little icons up here. I guess they give you the options to play around and manipulate further. You got 3D models. You can go in and change those. I'm not gonna change it too much because I don't wanna really 
affected that way yet. Look at that. Wow, you can apply stickers on top of 3D models. Um, that's really awesome. So that would come into effect if you wanted to make like a 3D, maybe a 3D logo. I don't know. Um, that would be awesome. Or play around and create 3D modeled objects for anything. It doesn't matter. Look at this. So you have um, text here. You have effects. Let's see if I click effects, what it's going to do. It's not allowing me to do that. Canvas. Click effects again. Here we go. Effects. And it just has defaults here. I don't know what that is. And then remix 3D. Uh, let's see what that does. It brings up re Remix 3D directly into the screen, which is pretty awesome. Um, wow, I didn't even know it did that because I didn't go too far with this particular tool. Um, let's go back to painting. And then this is where I started out at. And like I said, if you want to do anything with the actual 3D character that you selected, you can manipulate and move like that. Now, how do you merge them in? That's the question. Let's go and save this first. We're going to save as, save, let's see, we're going to call it um, first 3D project. Okay, save it. And I don't, I'm not sure where, where to actually save to, but I'll be able to find it. Let's put open and it saves actually in here. Let's go to browse and maybe it's saved in my pictures somewhere. I don't know. Well, I'm not sure. So let's get out of there. All right, so let's start from scratch. We're gonna go to new. And this is basically how you're gonna start off. You click anywhere um, on the screen, I believe. Let's see. No, I don't want that. Sorry, I'm kind of screwing up. I want to get into the select option. Are we in the paint? We in the paint. How do we get the select option to work? I'm not really sure. Um, I had it working before. Well, let's just draw something. Uh, make 3D. And what are we gonna do? Make a sticker? I don't know. Make 3D. What are we making 3D? Wow, I really don't know what I'm doing, obviously. Magic select, what is that? Oh, shoot. You can select stuff and then let's see what it does. When you select it, it brings it in. Will it bring it in and make it 3D? That's my question. Wow, that looks really interesting. To add to your selection, draw over the area you'd like to include. Interesting. Let me hit the X. And I want to go back. That's the question. All right, back, 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 select. There we go. We're in the select option. OK, I don't know how I got back to this, but like I said, I got to do some updates and tutorials on how to do that. Right now, I'm not doing a tutorial. I'm just trying to figure out and learn stuff myself, which it doesn't seem too easy when you start out. It, you have to figure it out, just like any other software or program that's out there. You're going to have to figure it out yourself um, or you can watch tutorials if they have. But for now, I don't see any tutorials on here. Now, it says here, it says upload to remix. That's not what you're going to use. You're going to use insert. So place a 2D, 3D file from your PC. You can use that. Or you can go, let's see, over here. Say I wanted this character, right? We're going to hit the plus. And we're going to hit add. It says, oops. Oh, I didn't create anything. I got to create a board. So I'm going to add it to this board here. Add. And then go to my stuff. Let's see boards. Go in here. And then add to board. What's this? Remove report. No. We're going to click it. Remix in 
in Paint 3D. So you're gonna click here where it says Remix in Paint 3D. And then it goes Paint 3D, choose other application. Don't choose another application, just leave it defaulted to Paint 3D and then click Open Link. And that brings you, merges it in here. And now you have the ability to manipulate it as you see fit. So there you go. You can rotate. You can go in different angles and positions. Pretty cool, right? So these are, like I said, from the the Remix 3D website. So you have to read the rules on here and stuff like that. I don't think you can monetize that. Read all this stuff, Microsoft Services Agreement, Trademarks Agreement, read all the details. Now, I believe if you create your own character, you should be able to go, you know, and utilize that character, you know, as a fully monetizable asset. But I don't believe you can do it per se um, using these actual pre installed characters from Microsoft. It looks like they from Microsoft because this is the actual icon, Microsoft itself, and these are these different characters that are already pre-designed and assets that are added to Remix 3D. As you can see, they got some really cool assets that they have that you can play around with. I'm wondering if you can add multiples onto the same plane so let's try that we're gonna open the link again and see if we can add that particular character to this scene that would be interesting and it does it works wow so you can work with two different characters and bring them in and I'm also wondering if you can when you save th these characters what type of file type it saves it as because then maybe you can merge it into um, face rig and make it um, animation wise in terms of it being able to become active and talking and interacting and things like that face rig is something awesome i love face rig so um other than that i'm done with this video hopefully y'all folks like this um part of this particular intro to the windows 10 creator update upgrade etc and uh, that's all I got. Joe Love and Peace to all. I'll see you next time in the next videos for this particular uh, Windows Creator type of intro stuff. The next ones are going to be more like tutorials because I'm going to try to go in hard on learning how to paint with it and learning how to become more creative with it because pretty much that's what it's all about. You know, being a creator online is really an essential thing. If you, if you want to go far with anything, digitally and online you want to try to create you know you want to have fun obviously with your creations um these are not mine per se but you know what i mean when you create something you want to you want to try to play with it have fun with it and see how far you can go i'm choosing the wrong thing so that's all i got and i'm out of here peace Thanks a lot guys and gals for checking out my video for the Windows 10 Creator update. It's just an intro. The next one is going to be hopefully some more about the update. I'm going to be putting out some other videos. I'm also going to be putting out a tutorial for the Paint 3D once I learn how to do it because I don't obviously know how to do it. But if you want to subscribe to find more of my videos, tutorials, whatever I have to offer, you can click up there. There's a little circle and that leads you there and you can check out those playlists or any videos that I have over there. Joe, love and peace to all. Mike Pugh signing off and I'll see you next time. Peace.